Hey, this is Math 8 Unit 4, Lesson 15 continued again, uh, another lesson where it got cut off at the end, so fixing that for you guys here with a little extra video. So we got stuck on number 5 where it says, first of all, to estimate the coordinates of the point where the two lines meet. Again, we're just going to estimate where these are meeting up at. And so I look here and notice that it seems to meet, when I look at it here, for x coordinate, it's a little more than half. Okay, so maybe one and three fourths or so for the x one, and it's meeting right here at one and a half for the y. So I would estimate somewhere like one and three fourths to one and a half, something along those lines there. As a decimal, perhaps you might write 1.75 and 1.50. That'll come in handy later on, but that's about my estimate. It says then next to choose two equations that make up the system represented by the graph. So two equations do make those lines, which ones are they? Okay, for the first one here, we notice that this one here has a y-intercept at the origin, which is zero, okay? So uh, if we call this one choice A, line A, if it has, if it's in, if it has a, a, a y-intercept at zero, we might be able to consider it. So for example, this one has a no y-intercept, there's a plus zero, right? And this one here is also a plus zero. So the question would be, which one of these has a slope that matches that line? So to find a slope, I can look for any two points okay, on the line. I have a slope, remember, it's going to be y divided by x. I want to find 5 fourths or 0.8 as being my slope. So let's find a point here. The first point we find is right there at y is equal to 2 over, in this case here, 2.5. And when you get out your handy dandy calculator and do 2 divided by 2.5, you find that that equals 0 0.8. So in this case, that is actually the slope of that line, which means that would be the right equation for that line right there. The next one we see, where does it cross the y-intercept? We see it crosses right here at 6, right? So we're looking for one with a y-intercept of 6. We see this has a plus 6, a plus 6, and a plus 6. So those are all possibilities so far. We also notice that this line is going down, which means we need to have a negative slope. That has a negative slope. This one has a positive slope, so that can't be it. And that has a negative slope there. So we're trying to debate between whether it's a negative 2.5x or a negative 3x. Those are the differences there in terms of what's going on. So, what we would take a look at, we could find a point. We have a point right here. And in this case here, we have a point at 1. All right, that's 1 and 3 and a half. So our, our y is at 3 and a half, or 3.5. 3.5 over 1 is our slope there. Am I doing this right? Something looks a little off of my note so far. Du, du, du. Um, hmm, that's interesting. That's y over x, so that is where we, oh, that's just a point. <laughs> that's not really our slope. Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see, now we gotta, we gotta figure our change. That one worked, I did this one because it was a change. So zero to zero. Uh, minus a point, so that worked there. So you're going to need to do a difference between y2 and my, my y1. Sorry, I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this, this one worked because I had that point minus zero, that point minus zero, that's how that worked there. So in this case here, my y2 can be the first one, second one. I need to find another point to subtract here. So I got another point right there, which is at one minus one comma and this is at two okay so I have two points here I have the point uh, one comma three point five and I have the point two comma one so I do the y2 minus y1 and then x2 minus x1 okay so that becomes in our case here uh, 2.5 over negative 1, which is simply negative 2.5. So that's our slope. And so that's going to match this one right there. And those are our, our equations there. It does say next to check this by solving to confirm. 
That means that they equal each other. So we would do six minus 2.5x equals 0.8x. And we're doing this to see how accurate our estimate was. Okay, so we're gonna add 2.5, add 2.5x over here. So we have 3.3x, let me add those up, equals six. And when I divide both sides by 3.3, six divided by 3.3 is 1.81 equals x. Okay, and then to see how that works, we can plug that in, we can do y equals 0.8 times 1.81 using this equation right there which means y equals 1.46 so the actual answer would be 1.81 comma 1.46 and we compare that to our estimate which was 1.75 comma 1.50 and we were pretty close weren't we all right that's it for today and for yeah for today we'll see you next time